are here with Judy Cohen from Lakeside Educational Services. She's an academic coach, and yes. she's also worked in the classroom for over 30 years with MPS. She was a forever teacher. Yeah, and she's always. lots of fun, yeah. and she's here with some staunch advice for transitioning your kids <laughs> back to school, and it starts with the song you just heard. Mm -hmm. We weren't paying attention because oh we were gosh. laughing. Oh my gosh. Sorry, okay. I was listening. No clue what it was. You want yeah. me to sing it? Yeah, please. Take out the papers and the trash. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We're having so much fun today. Yeah, yeah what let's, is, what's the reason Why did I this? pick that? Yeah. Because every child has a garbage can in their head that they have filled up with toxic thoughts, yes. trash. Mm -hmm. Get it out, get rid of it, empty it. Yes. It's a brand new school year, start clean. And the excitement for school is going to come from you. Yes, parents. You. Okay, so yeah. I, this is one thing I've noticed with kids, and it can start as, I think, young as third grade, where you're like, oh, are you excited to go back to school? Uh, how do you how do you turn that around? Because you know I'll try and say I loved school. You know this is this is great. What's and we'll talk about some of the positives. But how do you really get that attitude to turn around? It mm -hmm. comes from the home. It comes from how you talk to your kids about going back to school. It is not. Oh, it's so cold. You can't go swimming anymore. Oh my gosh, you can't <laughs> sleep anymore. Absolutely not. Yeah. As a parent, you need to transition your child. Get them ready for jobs mm -hmm. because education is their job. Yes. Love That's that. what a child is meant to do, go to school. That's mm -hmm. their job, just like we all get up to do our jobs. So how do you do that? Mm -hmm. Number one, you radiate excitement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Two, let's talk about earlier bedtimes. And gradually get your kids getting up early, but do not, do not let that child go back to bed. Okay. You get that child up, you get mm. that child dressed, and going. go somewhere, mm -hmm. go for a walk, go out for breakfast. I don't care where you go. You mean as you're prepping them as for getting up early. As you're prepping them, mm -hmm. because they have to get up. There is no, I, I want to sleep. Mm -hmm. No cell phones in the bedroom. You we need know alarm number, clocks. Yes. You need alarm clocks, no cell phones in the bedroom, because cell phones become late night enemies. Yes. yes. No cell phones. We yeah. all know that yeah. that is a, a horrible thing to do. Mm -hmm. And I, yes. I remember when Molly decided to heed that advice and she put all the cell phones in the in the hallway, and she said exactly. at first it was a little difficult, but it, she felt like it totally changed their you know sleeping and, and the habits in the house Everything for the positive. Everything changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, with transition to school comes organization, and organization is a key piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you can get organized in the morning, that morning chaos will go away. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you're running around trying to find things in the morning, you come into work like, Ugh. Yes. Well, a child same the feels kid. the same way. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? A couple days before school, you start looking at that child's closet. Mm -hmm. Have them take their clothes that they wore in summer, and put it on the other side of the closet. Put the school clothes over here. Put the school uniforms over here if right. they have to wear a uniform. Start clearing a special space in your house for homework. Mm -hmm. Bedrooms, yes. no. No homework. And not at any age? What not about like 16? No, no, no. And no. why do you say that? That's a whole nother show. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the space. It's just a no. Judy yeah. says no. <laughs> Clear the because space. Because I said so. Right? She's the expert. That's my answer. Yeah. I said so. Yeah. Clear the space in a dining room, a kitchen, a hallway. Get it ready. Get the mm -hmm. materials out. I got this great idea. A homework tablecloth. Oh, okay. I'm not kidding. Making it special. You can make it special. A child can make one. You can buy one at some of the dollar stores. Amazon I has like that it. idea. Okay. When you put that homework tablecloth on your dining room table, your kitchen table, or that area of space, it's a visual clue mm -hmm. that your child that needs to do homework. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. The biggie. I like that. My most favorite. Whiteboards. We like love giant whiteboards. erase board. Giant erase boards. Hang it in the kitchen, in a family room, in a back room, not in the child's bedroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that child has daily things that they need to write on oh. this whiteboard. Their homework that has to be done, okay. a soccer practice, a dentist appointment, every night before they go to bed. Is it like bullet pointed, these bullet are the things points, for the next bullet day? Points. But it helps with spelling too, and yeah. oh, we need help with spelling. What age do you start this? Early. These are tips not for middle school, high school. First Starting grade, up. start okay. in a kindergarten. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to hurt anybody. Love that. So when that child gets done with their homework piece of math, they wipe it clean. Mm -hmm. okay. Underneath that whiteboard is the backpack, mm -hmm. the luggage of school, the backpack. The homework goes in that backpack the night before. Yeah. 
Okay. Everything should be wiped clean, and if it's not, you look at it and say, What didn't we get done? Didn't you yeah. do those reading yeah. questions? Yeah. Oh, I, I did, Mom. See? Wipe it clean. Okay. Now, children are not born knowing how to do this, so they're not laying in their hospital bassinet saying, I'm going to schedule my next bottle. Yeah. You have to structure it for them. To teach them these skills. She's uh, calling Mama out. Judy's yeah. getting on you. Okay, She's here's the deal. We're out. out of time. Do you want to yeah. leave us with a quote? Oh, I love quotes. Okay. 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 Give us your best. Oh, my gosh. That's another show. Okay. Your attitude mm -hmm. determines your altitude. I love like that one. How you feel and act and behave will determine how fly you how, yes. how you fly up. Yep. Or how you go down. I agree with that. And Judy, you live best. with that until you're an adult. Thank you, you for having me. You want Judy to come and yes. whip your kids into shape, help you <laughs> with your household. She can do that. I Contact love it. her at lakesideeducationalservices.com. She's got the experience to back up that advice. Yes. She knows what she's talking about. Thanks for being thank here, Judy. I love it. We love it. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> All right.